What's good in the hood, everybody? Today, we're gonna be checking out some foot sweeps, baby! A foot sweep is one of the, in my opinion, smoothest, cleanest, sexiest looking standing techniques that someone can do. We see a lot of foot sweeps in judo, so today I wanted to make a video of a bunch of different clips that I found of nasty, straight up nasty foot sweeps being used outside of judo in collegiate wrestling, on the streets, MMA, nogi, and Muay Thai. So let's check it out. I got my laptop right here. Let's go, baby. Uh, we're going to start with a little NCAA wrestling action. <laughs> Big man. Beautiful. I'm just going to let most of these run. I love seeing foot sweeps in wrestling. Arm drag. I got this guy a couple times, I think. Two on one. Yep, here he is again. Two on one. Foot sweep. Boom. Get the takedown. A lot of uh, foot sweeps in NCAA wrestling off of the getup. Like these past two clips are both off of the getup or stand up. I don't know what it's called in wrestling. Another one straight to the pin. Boom, pin his ass. Same guy, I think. Oh, uh, maybe not. Big boys again. Sticky Kosoto. And he gets him up, he gets him to here again. Trying to get up. Takes his back. Nice another sticky Kosoto into the pen. Alright, now we're gonna go into MMA slash no gi. We got my boy Islam. <laughs> Islam does his thing. I got a couple uh, Islam clips in here. Got a couple Nogi uh, Jiu Jitsu matches. Already, you know, you kind of see a different technique in Nogi than you do in wrestling. They're kind of just letting them fall. But in wrestling, they hop on top of them. Here's Islam again. Oh my god, so clean. This one's really nice. Times it perfectly. Boom, sit down. Yeah, they kind of just let him go, you know, but in wrestling, they were staying on top of him, transitioning into the pin. And uh, kind of like a sasai. Last nogi, I believe. You know, kind of just foot sweeps him and drops him down. All right, now we're going to get into the MMA. Got my boy John Jones, I think this is. Beautiful. All right, check this one out. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's watch that one again. This is like a, a Mortal Kombat video game technique. And I don't even know if it's a foot sweep. You guys, let me know if you guys think this one's a foot sweep or not. I just put it in here because it's this thing is badass. I mean, this is I, I literally used to spam this in Mortal Kombat. This one's kind of like a Muay Thai foot sweep. Catches the leg, sweeps the leg. Daniel Cormier slams him and then foot sweeps him off of the getup. All right, now we're going to go into Muay Thai. And I know a lot of these are not technically foot sweeps. You would call a lot of these just straight up leg kicks. But I think it gives us a different perception of foot sweeps and allows us to see what a foot sweep would look like with a different rule set. You know, in Muay Thai, it's obviously different than judo and grappling. Uh, you can strike, so... Just a different look on a, a similar technique, so I thought it would be good to include these. And they're just badass. Muay Thai is such a cool martial art. So aggressive. So a lot of these are just catching the kick, sweeping. This guy sweeps him forward. That was kind of like a Koichi. He sent him freaking flying in that one. Let's watch that one again. Looks like he was going in for the kick, and he just perfectly timed his other leg. Boom. Go airborne. This was so sneaky. Fake Superman punch to a foot sweep, it looks like. Just kicks his leg out from under him on that one. Yeah, so a lot of these catching and then sweeping. Dumps him out of the ring. Love to see it. Same guy. Look at that. He's so nice, so technical. Another sneaky Koji. This is Rod Tang, the Muay Thai maestro himself. He can do it all. Boom. Sweeped his ass. All right, now we got in the street. So we're going to look at a couple of clips of foot sweeps being used in the streets for self-defense. 
or in this case, uh, to apprehend a criminal. I included this one on the judo in the streets video, but I had to include it here too. It was just it's such a funny uh, clip. Kicks his leg out from, from under him. This girl comes up, smacks him in the face, gets tased. Well done by the police officer. That's what we like to see. Keeping the streets safe. Last clip. This one, uh, just a nice foot sweep in the street. Waits for his leg to come forward. Swept him. Controlled him all the way to the ground. Very nice. And that is it. Hope you guys liked it. I think uh, foot sweeps, like I said, if you can do it properly, it's one of the best looking, coolest, smoothest looking techniques you can do from stand up. It, it's also very little effort is required. You know, it's, it's all about timing. If you can get the timing right, then you really don't have to put in any effort at all. You know, a lot of the clips that we saw here, that was the case. They weren't putting too much effort into the technique as you would for some other judo throws or other standing takedown techniques. Um, say an Agi, for example, you know, although in principle, it's supposed to be all technique in reality in competition, you usually use a lot more strength than you do with a foot sweep. So I think that's one of the beautiful things about foot sweeps is they're just so simple, but effective at the same time. And they require little to no effort if they're done properly. So get out there, go to an open mat, go to your dojo, go foot sweep some guys, send me the video. I'd love to see it. In the meantime, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great week. Peace.